back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my daily stretching routine. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So what you're going to do first is you're going to stand with your legs out and you want to go to the right side for 10 seconds. Now let's do it to the left side. And now we're just going to turn our legs to the right. We want to make our back flat like a table and hold this position for 10 seconds. And now we're just going to bend your back as far down as we can. And now we're going to do those same stretches on the left side. Now bend back. And now what we're gonna do, we're just going to leave our legs out like this and we're going to bend our legs as far down as we can. And we're gonna have our hands hold our knees. And we're going to push our right shoulder front and hold this for 10 seconds. And now left side. stretch we're going to do another one that is just a downward dog and we're going to climb as far as you can and we're going to push back our shoulders to feel a good stretch in your shoulders and your calves And now after you've done that stretch, you're going to go into a seal stretch. And if you don't know what that is, it's just where you push up your back. And you want to go as far down as you can. It's okay if you're like right here, right here. It's just go as far down as you can and hold this position for 10 seconds. Now we're just going to go into a child's pose. So now that you've done some type of back stretch, we're going to go into a bridge from the floor. So what you do, you're going to bend your legs and you're gonna Put your back on the floor and put your elbows up and then push up, okay? And hold this for 10 seconds. And you wanna put your heels as far or as close to your hands. And now that you've hold it, Hold it, you can 
go back onto the floor and just sit back up. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to a basic lunge, but instead of a basic lunge, it's very close to it. And I'll show you how it looks like. So go into a lunge, but then just rest your back leg on the floor. And you're going to hold this position for 10 seconds. And now you've done that for 10 seconds, you're just going to push up your back with your really deep stretch. And now we're just going to put our arm under our leg and hold that for 10 seconds. Now we're just going to repeat those same stretches on the left side. Again, just going to a basic lunge and then put rest your back leg on the floor. You just hold it for 10 seconds. So now that you've held that for 10 seconds, we're just going to push up our back again and hold it for 10 more. So now we're just going to put our arm under and we're going to hold it there. So now that we've done a lunge, we're going to do another kind of lunge, but it's, it's very close to it. This is called a pigeon pose. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend your right leg, you're going to face to the right, and you're going to straighten out your back leg. And then, so you should feel a stretch right here already, but to feel an even deeper stretch, you're going to go and touch the floor with your hands and arms. And hold this position for 10 seconds. Now that you've done that to the right side, let's do that to the left side. Again, let's just bend our left leg and then we're going to straighten out our back leg. I'm going to make our hands and arms touch the floor and hold this position for 10 seconds. Now you're just going to sit into a straddle position. You're going to push your legs, you're going to turn out your legs, and you're just going to push up as far as you can. It's okay if you can't do like all the way that I am, but just do it as far as you can. And now we're just going to go to the right and hold this position hold the position for 10 seconds. You're going to grab your ankle and you're going to put this arm on the floor and hold this for 10. And now let's do that to the left side.
So now that you've done the both sides, the right side and the left side, you're just going to climb forward and try, but make sure you keep your legs turned up. You don't want to look like this when you do it. You want to make sure you look like this. So what you're going to do first, I recommend climbing down it. So just put your hands in front of you and slowly climb down. All the way till you feel a stretch. Now that you're done with the 10 seconds, just climb yourself back up and bring in your legs. So what you're gonna do now is you're just going to do the splits. And if you don't know how to do the splits, I do have a full video on how to do that. And I'll leave that in the description box down below too. And what you're gonna do, we're gonna do the right splits first. So you're going to bend this leg and straighten out the right leg. And you want to put your hands on the floor and you're going to slowly, very, very slowly slide down into the splits. You can hold this position for 10 seconds. Cool. Now we're just going to do the left side for 10 more seconds. So now that we did both side splits, we're just going to go ahead and do the middle splits. So what I do, I just do an up and over. I push, I use my arms to push up. And this is how I do my middle splits. And you can hold this for 10 seconds. Just going to bring your legs in again and what you're going to do is you're just going to go into butterfly pose and bring your feet as close to you as you can as close to you as you can and you're going to push down your knees i personally don't have to because um my legs are flexible enough so they can already touch the floor and you're just going to hold this position for 10 seconds. So now you're going to keep a butterfly, but you're going to put your feet farther away from you and make your legs look kind of like a diamond shape. And you're going to touch your feet and go all the way down and touch the floor and go as far down as you can and hold this for 10 seconds. So now what you're going to do, what I do is I just do, I practice my palm tree. I am personally more flexible with my left palm tree, so I'm going to do that for you guys now. So what I do, I just grab the floor, put your leg straight up, and hold this for 10 seconds. So now that you're done with your palm tree, we are just going to do some leg lifts. So I practice my right and my leg, or my right leg and my left leg. So first I'm going to do my left leg. So I just grab it. And you want to make sure you're starting at something that, so you can keep your balance. And I only hold that for about five seconds so I can get used to it more. So 
So now I, I have been trying to get my needle for a while and what I find really helps me is doing a scorpion. So I recommend holding on to something first. So I will get my bar and I'll show you guys. So this is the bar that I use. I also use this for ballet because I have a Zoom class. And what I do is I keep this one I practice on putting my right leg up. So I have my left arm on the bar. I pick up my heel. I can honestly, I can go all the way straight, but I don't have enough, I don't think I have enough back, back um, flexibility yet. So I just straight as a, I can make my leg, I try to make my leg as straight as it can and hold it. And then I let it go. So I'm just going to do that to the same, the same thing on the other side. So what I do, I put my right leg on my right arm on the bar. I grab my heel. So you have reached the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. And next Tuesday, I will come out with a brand new video for all of you guys. So stay tuned for that. And goodbye, my loves.